and accept those. Yeah, we, we should, yeah, we should table, maybe table that motion. We're going to have to table that motion until there is at least a summary uh, indicating the, uh, the motions that were passed. So we're going to table that uh, agenda item for now. Yeah, so I, I knew that would be a, uh, what does that say? Me. Justine. Yeah. Is that a... Yeah, yeah. yeah that's actually a virtual. There you yeah, go. Good, there good, go. good, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I yeah. thought that would be a problem, <laughs> recording it and not having anybody actually physically recording anything. Mm. So, um, yeah, I will have to table it until the next meeting. I will go through that whole recording and I will pull out those two, the, the, any yeah, I guess we, we should have it recorded, but also pen down anything that we pass. Yeah, right? I think so that's important. Definitely. Yeah, so. yeah. I can do that for tonight. I'm just gonna flip okay. over yeah. an agenda. Why and... don't you get, uh, get we have, are connected to AI, ask them to summarize the recording as minutes. They'll do it for you. Really? Yes, yep. indeed. Yeah. They should become part of our board. I think we should vote them in as one of our members. AI? <laughs> yeah, <I'm looking. laughs> but, 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 AI, but AI is in the bottom here. AI Companion is now part of Zoom. And it will, if you ask it, it will probably be able to summarize the, the recording into minutes. Do you want me to do that now? No. No. Okay. Okay. No. But it's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. No. no but but give it a shot. I I can't stay long, and I told you that I I'm probably going to have to leave around seven o'clock or so. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. But but uh, but I give it a whirl. Um. I mean, there's a really good things about AI, and there's really horrible things about AI. If you watch any science fiction, you'll know how the world ends. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, let's table it for now and I will try the AI. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, if you want me to go on to um, the financial report? Yeah, that's the big one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So here I brought the account activity. I can just pass it around. This is just where we're at right now um, at our one bank account. So, um, we can just take a look. That's just for the last month. And what I'm doing um, with the financials is working with BDO and Josh Trudeau there. I was to have had a meeting with him on Tuesday, but he's sick. So he's pushed that meeting back to Friday. So I can't tell you sort of when the financial statements are um sort of uh, gonna be ready for our AGM, but uh, I trust them and I pay them. So uh, so it should be, um, it, basically what I get from them, uh, Melanie is a, uh, uh, it's called a letter to readers. It's not an actual audit. It's a letter to readers just confirming uh, what our online bookkeeper uh, says reconciling it with the bank mm -hmm. and uh, um, and then I report that or bring that report to the AGM. Okay. And on, I'm hoping early next month I'd like to do the AGM. Okay. Um, other than that, we are in pretty good shape, I think, financially. Um, we're at around uh, twenty. $7,500 in our bank account. Not bad. Uh, yeah, it's good for this time of the year. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Um, and uh, um, what, what I are the major encumbrances on the uh, 27000 Um, They are about uh, a tour, the Wild Alchemy Tour. And they are about the R&R um, &R series, which we've been doing with the Whitewater Gallery. So both of those are still, are yet to go out. Um, Is there any and, funds that aren't encumbered? Yeah, yeah, we just got paid um, 20, uh, $2,400 
when we do the mobile galleries project, which is at the Kennedy Insurance Building, the Gallery mm -hmm. 222, mm -hmm. every year at this time, we and it might be there, you might see it. There might be a some sort of a deposit for 24 something uh, on the. No. <laughs> here, let's see. Uh, not on that. Yeah, it's on this one here. Oh, no. Yeah. It was for 2478 that we received on the 10th of November. So that that is that's encumbered, but um we we use it to pay artist fees on mm -hmm. in the gallery, to pay installation costs, uh, and to pay curatorial fees as mm -hmm. well, which sort of gets pushed into my contract wage. Okay. Yeah. So um other than that, we have been selling. We have a bit, I guess that's here too. Um, Off the top of your head before you have the, the meeting, uh, is, is, there about any, thousand, is there any deficit? No, no, not okay. that I see, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm still working on the payroll situation. I paid the government already, so it's not there. It's back a few months. I paid them uh, $18,000 in remittances for the year. I still owe for a few months in 2023. So that that is something that we do owe the government. Um, it will be probably around $4,000, I would say. But it will be offset by our, our GST refund, GST and HST refund. So that's kind of where I'm working in terms of our debt. I'm saying one part of the CRA is paying off the other. Like when we get our HST rebate back, that will pay for the remittance. Um, of course, this financial report is the one just before the annual general meeting. Mm -hmm. um, one of the issues with finances is that it shouldn't really be the executive director it's reporting on the on the uh, on the finances. It should be a treasurer of the board. We lost our de facto treasurer when Paul Monahan left the board. So I do need somebody to step up at least until the new board is drawn up to present that right. Um, uh, it's like a, um, at this stage, it's not an onerous task. It's uh, basically so that it looks good to our members when we get in there, that it's not me doing all of the finances, right? Um, so I don't know whether one of you guys wanted to step up and do that for the month. I, I know that, you know, uh, we have a president right here. <laughs> That's totally I, I didn't get that email. See, well, we have to we have to get at that. I think, especially around now, we have to sort of solidify these important executive positions, um, so that from the outside, at least, it doesn't look like I'm doing everything right. Um, that would. That would help me a lot. Um, so maybe just just think about it. You know, um, again, yeah. Dermot, was this the what you mentioned about having a second person as a sign signing thing, or a different? It's different. It's different. Um, the treasurer position is. I think people worry about it because usually the treasurer is an accountant or a bookkeeper or something yeah, like that. Know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't we're have a bunch of artists. Yeah, I have very like zero experience with that, but mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I could yeah. assist someone and that is doing it, or I don't know if I can help in any way. I would, but okay, I okay. don't have the experience to jump into something like that. Well, let's let's talk about it. Okay, and 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 we'll just go from there, um, because as I say, it 
it's good preparation to have this in line now mm -hmm. because I think at the annual general meeting, we are going to shift positions around and we're going to either legitimize positions with the actual individual or we're going to pass that off to somebody else. Okay. Um, I think it's important to do that. Um, yeah. um, and I, I know all of you, I, I actually, uh, Jerry, I want to bring you into this kind of conversation because Jerry, um, I, I, I've asked if Jerry would join the executive of the NRCC um, and obviously doesn't have to make that decision until the annual general meeting. But at that time, I don't know, Jerry, what you're thinking, but um, I was thinking that maybe you would step into the role of the chair of the board and, and take over from Dave. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I, I've chaired a number of, a number of organizations, so I, I'd be fine with it. I just need, Dermot, just send me all the info on your board policies and executive policies, just so I'm aware, okay. and then I can do it. But yeah, you know, yeah. I, I don't mind banging people on the head with my gavel. <laughs> Excellent. Good decision, Jerry. <laughs> Judge Judy over there. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, is that okay, Dave? Is that what? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hear. Um, did you tie? Did you tie him down and make him say yes? Yeah. Yeah. We still true. haven't said yes. <laughs> no. Can you believe I matched this table? Huh? It's pretty unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Realize that. <laughs> Well, so really painted right. about the color scheme here. That's right. Yeah. Unreal. Okay, we got a new president uh, chair there. That's good. Well, right. and we'll talk, obviously talk more about that. Okay. Um, I just want to, before I go off of financials, um, I wanted to, a motion from the board to confirm that Jason Brock, current NRCC member and board member, and guy who lives downstairs. Yeah. Uh, uh, is asked to register at the Northern Credit Union as a signing authority for the Nipissing Region Curatorial Collective. Uh, and at the same time, he would ask the bank to remove Julie Kawai as a signing authority. Julie was our account, our bookkeeper, set up the WAVE program for us, which was great, um, but then promptly moved to Ottawa. Oh, so yeah. Shame. Yeah. So, um, Jay, are you all right with that? Yeah, um, like I'm quite busy with stuff, but it sounds like it would that the fact that I live so close to you, if it if it was something that needed two people to sign, it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, whatever I can do. I love I love your scene. Look at that. <laughs> She's tired <laughs> for a little while, and then she'll <laughs> get up. Jason yeah. is an awesome yeah. musician, and and um, we make um, sound art together. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. Okay, Jay. Well, um, do you want to check that out, Jay? I've probably done it wrong, but I did go in and ask them what was needed, and they they're the ones that said. Take somebody off at the same time as putting somebody on. Right. Sounds great. I'll, uh, I'll move that. Okay. So Dave's going to move that for the record. And, second. And Alex will second it. Yeah. So is everybody in favor of that? Okay. So that kind of ends that report. Um, and I'll just shift straight to the. Are you in favor of it, Justine? Where's Justine? She should be there. Yeah, she's saying yes. Her yeah. audio's off. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I raised I raise my hand. Yeah, I'm okay. I saw it. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, um, did you see the picture I posted? I posted a picture from the performance. You did uh you posted where you posted on Facebook? Facebook, yeah. Ooh. Facebook and Instagram, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
anyway, um, so the I'm just going to switch gears, go to number four, which is very short. Uh, the Nova and 222 programming report basically boils down to two days. Um, to, uh, Friday night, we have something at Gallery 222, which is downtown. We're going to have some coffee and cookies, and we're going to open a new show by Nancy Stevenson, who I've known forever. She's a wonderful watercolor artist, jeweler, and, um, and Mark Buchanan, who's a new artist. Um, and does really, really interesting abstract work. So they're opening at the Kennedy Gallery for the Gallery Hall. What are you guys going to be doing for the gallery? I mean, you'll be open. You'll We're be just going to be open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to be open. Have the projections running. And good, good, good. Have some, have some snacks for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. I think it should be a good one. You know, I think it's going to be great. Um, well, they're supposed to be good. Is it? Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And that starts at six and ends at nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So so please come by or invite your friends or drop yeah. in. It really helps the artists to, mm -hmm. to come by. Um, and uh, we've been selling work out of that space. I sold one from the last show. Um, so it's still selling some work. Great. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the next day, we open Alex... Maeve Campbell. I love how people in Toronto know of you as Alex Maeve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how you know it's like it's an online thing. You're like, oh, Alex May. Yeah. Just, 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 <laughs> yeah, it is cool. Right? Um, so cautionary tales, how how's it come together? What's uh it's good. I've got about uh, 22 pieces all together ready to go. Just doing the last, well, I was just uh, just doing the last touches on things last night. And, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. So great. Install tomorrow night. Yep, yep, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be at it. We'll yeah, be at it. Can we do it partly in the day or can I do anything at the, in the day? Or you got to sit the gallery. Stuck, yeah, I'm stuck at Whitewater, so but it won't take us long because it's no easy. Yeah. Most of them are just the twelve by twelves. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I wish we could get fast. somebody to maybe Tara would come in and sit the gallery for you. Oh yeah, if we can get somebody to sit the gallery for me, yeah. Well, actually, okay, we'll talk. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk because actually, there's a workshop going on later in the well, later in the day tomorrow with Art Fix. Right. Yeah. So once they're there. Yeah. Perfect. 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 Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. Just to so we don't get too stressed on on the on the Thursday. Yeah. And I, and I can help be, you. It would be pretty easy to handle. Okay. That's I don't fine. want to delay this. And and actually, part of that thing is that uh, the Richard Fortan, who we all know from one seventy six. He came and suggested that I leave up some of Don's work mm -hmm. down the back hall yeah. area. So that's what we'll be doing as well as shifting okay. those around the corner. Uh, probably leave like, we'll see, it'll, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. I think the two shows will go together nicely. And uh, yeah, so I want to keep Don in that loop that we will be Dawn, do you hear me? <laughs> I want to keep Dawn in that loop because I want to make sure that everything looks good and that we've, you know, um, showcased both shows really nicely. But it's going to be on over Christmas. And so it'd be nice if you could generate some sales of the work. Yeah. You know, so. I'll be posting about it. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm going to come and take photos. Awesome. Yeah. And you've got you figured out pricing and stuff and I've figured we'll, we'll, talk. we'll talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um uh, uh, I did change so in the agenda there's um, um some stuff about the projects that we're doing. Um the Awan uh, Iyawang that's going to happen in uh, the Ojibwe Cultural Center. And Dawn, I sent you a letter about that on your email. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. Uh, we'll use those reprints for those. 
Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, I think that's good. It's it's really up to you, Don. I mean, if you if something else comes up that seems to fit the the theme too, we're up for that. And it's not until June. Of oh, next year. yeah. Okay. It's not right away. It's not till oh, June. Uh, yeah, if I get that grant, yeah, uh, to paint, uh, I'll have. I should have about four paintings by then. Yeah, cool. Really, really cool. And before you got here, did I mention Russell? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Russell's um, not well. He's obviously in that show too. And Cy can't be here because he's waiting for a call on how Russell is doing uh, from mm. the doctor. So we'll have to see. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Do you have those pieces? Uh, I don't have any of his work. He picked it all up. He did, eh? Okay. Yeah, so um, I'll be in touch with Sherry and see what she wants to do. She'll then, you know, talk to her. Um, so uh, the other projects um, that I think I listed on the agenda page. Yeah. Um, the White Bear Air, I just got back from um, the, it's incredible. It's incredible. It, not, it has a working dark room, that White Bear Air. It has a large sauna area. It is like paradise for artists. It's incredible, yeah. It's got is that all the same room? Full town. Yeah. <laughs> it's all in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's part of the kitchen. We've got some red sauna light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to put the seat down. <laughs> that might actually work. Yeah. But I'm I'm hoping I, uh, Doug's coming to visit to pick up his pie plate. But I'm hoping to go up there. I'm hoping we can all go up there in in December. Just to check it out. I would love to. You know, it's really, really exciting. Um, the The plan for it is to sort of start slow-ish. So we're going to do two weeks in uh, the summer, July 1st to 15th, with the Ontario Society of Artists. They're watercolor artists. Mm -hmm. and, um, and they've been there before, but this time they'll go there to work and create work. And then, uh, and then we've got a, a project that's sort of with white water again. Uh, it's called Queer Up North. Mm -hmm. So on August 15th, we'll have all of these amazing artists from Toronto and area. Uh, and they'll be going up basically to mentor queer youth artists okay right so they'll be half and half will be invited up um it is a super safe space for that i think and um i'm looking at i talked to alex a couple of days ago about creating a Canada council for the arts composite grant around that whole project um so being able to provide really good studio equipment there to renovate slightly so that it it works better for them um, and maybe to pay the artists who are there as mentors and guides. Um, so I'll work on that in the next little while. Uh, and uh, yeah, so White Bear, if we get those two kicked off, that's the start, that's one month. And then in 2025, Maybe we try for three months of programming up there. There's a beautiful little gallery space there too. So, um, sorry. Um, we saw, I saw the space that used to be the shop. Remember that space? It used to be the little fishing shop? Yeah. Yeah, so I think um, that looks like a beautiful gallery to me. Just it's not big at all, but it's it's got a window in the front, door walk in. It'll make a wonderful space. So um I haven't talked to Doug yet about it, but everything I mentioned to him, he just says, Yeah, let's do that. You know, wow. he's really an awesome man. So so it's looking good. 
I do want to come up uh, at the beginning of December, and Jerry and I are going to meet at that time sometime. Uh, but it depends on Jerry because he's can be stuck on the the island because uh, the ice is not strong enough to to take it to work. Out. And um, no, 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 no. There's no, no ice. ice. Yeah, there is no ice. Yeah, yeah. No ice. There is no ice yet. I have no truck. Right. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, 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 cropped, it cropped out on me. So uh, I'm I'm stranded on Gilligan's Island here. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, wow. shoot. You're oh, both... yeah. What a ter terrible thing to be stranded on an island. Yes. Terrible. <laughs> Worst. Terrible. You've been there yeah, before, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Me, me and the ducks and a couple of loons. I, I'm glad we're all together because... The Trillium grant, which is the R and R series, which we have been funded for, um, I did one of the workshops. Hair is going to do another one on the on Sunday. On Sunday, yeah, right, the nineteenth of November. Yeah, on Sunday. So we all got to go to that. Chair couldn't be here. <coughs> She's in rehearsals for her play. Next is coming up, right? Um, but. Uh, so yeah, we got to go hang out for a workshop on Sunday, which is all about uh, digital interactivity. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. And um, she wants to talk about some of her experiences with handheld projectors. I know that was one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, performance art. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It would be really well, interesting. Digitally interacting with performance art. Yeah, yeah. And then oh. Dawn is going to be doing a workshop on December 9th. December 9th. Oh, 9th. December 9th, yeah. And and we we spoke with the Near North Mobile Media Lab, uh, Sharon, and we're paying for that lab. It has multiple computers available. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's downstairs at the Capitol Center. Okay, uh, I wouldn't mind meeting up with them before that event just to see what they have in mind and sure, yep, what okay. kind of uh, students or uh, people will be coming in or what they want to, you know, what they want to see. Okay, let's set that up. Uh, it's not till December 9th, so maybe next week we can we can get at it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so, oh, Wild Alchemy and the Global Growth. Uh, it's an, an online exhibition. It's there now, but we're going to take it all to Toronto. And uh, that's happening in April and beginning of April. And uh, that's kind of big for for us and big for the artists. They get a chance to show in Toronto. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, it's good. So lots of, you know, lots of energy around that show um, and lots of help. Um, both by Don, Jerry, uh, who else is in the show? Um, well, Jurgen's in it, all sorts of great artists are in the show, and uh, and then uh, some art, quite a lot of artists from Europe, wow. and several artists from South America as well. Uh, and then the West Coast, there's uh, one, two, remember Peter Sloan at all? Did you ever know Peter? I don't know that name, I can't remember. Yeah. I sure know Peter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's got beautiful pieces for the show. Um, so, really, I think a really good last show. Dermot. And the NRCC on the map. Yeah. Um, so for the, the Wild Alchemy in Toronto, it's going to be exhibited at, what's the gallery? It's called the Assembly Hall. The Assembly, Assembly Hall. Hall, okay. So the pieces, I, I, I have a piece. Um, yeah. They have to be, it has to be printed in some type of format to be displayed. Is that correct? Yeah. That's right, and then and then has to be somehow get to Toronto. Um, yeah, yeah, and that we have 
funds for. Okay. That's the stuff there. Yeah, yeah. We, we did receive a grant, as I said earlier, for Wild Alchemy. Um, I just communicated with Poland and told them that, you know, I told Leszek, the curator there, he's listed all of the works that he's gonna send. Uh, and so he'll package them up, find out how much it costs. Then I send him the money and then he pays for it by DH, DHP or something like that. That's the name of the, the company. And uh, yeah, and we pick it up. Um, so yeah, it's going to be mostly that kind of logistics thing to get it all in one place and then move it down to the assembly hall. Um, the, sh the pieces that get shipped are going to need to be framed as well. So I got to put that in the, in the cost, but, uh, I, I think, you know, it, it's, it's all doable and it's going to pay us back big time. Um, that show travels from Toronto up to Timmins. So in June, it will be in Timmins. Um, and, uh, um, they have a budget for that. Also, all the artists in Wild Alchemy are paid, uh, Jerry. I haven't figured out exactly what that is yet, but I'm working on that with Karen um, from Timmins. So I'll match whatever her, her artist fee is. We'll just match it. Um, and... Um, I think that's it for uh, unless I guess uh, I'm, I'm going to move to number six. I'm sorry that it's just me talking all the time, but if you want to draw, <laughs> jump in or ask any questions, please, please. Um, with the GTG partnerships, and the Arts Community Center News. Um, I I produced something. I don't have any copies here now. And I presented them to uh, Alex's net. Um, I gave away, I printed a copy today to show, but I gave it away to Mel uh, Alkins at the NOHFC. She's, she's said she will help with this, but the, the Arts Community Center project um, it's going to result in us getting a building. That's the, it seems like it's going to happen. Really? Wow. Really, really, really. Yep. Yeah. Um, like since I talked to you, uh, um, I talked to Tony Limina. He, uh, told me about the H.E. Brown building, mm -hmm. which Davey knows a lot about. It's where he. Is that where he performed? He, he, he and it's sort like of unfinished and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of rehearsed and it rehearsed. he performed in there. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. Anyway, that's one of the ones that's up for grabs. Mm -hmm. To me, it's not the most likely. Next door to it is the Salvation Army building. Yeah. And that one has a theater inside. Um. I'm meeting on Friday with the guy who runs the Trinity. Uh, church and they have a big theater space um but the issue there is oh, you know, yeah well more like um can we coexist with the church i guess uh, because they're they're not moving out so uh, can we coexist? I mean, there's space there, but is there enough space for? It's got a it's got a big sort of gym like area, and then a proscenium stage, um, which for our plan, the one in that on cap setting, it would have to be completely gutted and uh, put in a black box mm -hmm. stage, and then beside it a gallery. So like. A white box and a black box basically and uh 
And that's a lot of work to do for something that we wouldn't have any ownership of. So we'd have to have to talk to this guy and see what's best. But the the Salvation Army is for sale, and um, uh, it had parking and things, and it has a theater in it. So there's that. Then I spoke to Ben Farella today, and they're offering a lot. They're kind of like, we will invest in this. So, and then now also NOHFC, Cultural Spaces Canada, all of these different funding bodies are in place. The city is on board. Um, so it's it's a matter of just sort of uh, a bit more research, but I think um, probably early in the in the new year we're going to know where is the best place to be and how we can maybe purchase it i would rather purchase it but um that's exciting yeah it's pretty neat it's like purchase it with what um with what money money with what money well Mula. uh just have to find that that's all that's not a problem. that's not a big problem i don't think <laughs> um i i do have some Okay, so at the Gateway Theater Guild, we did start a capital campaign committee. So that would be looking at raising funds. Um, and then those have to be matching funds. Uh, so they would be matched by the different kind of funding bodies. Um, and now I've got this group of building owners that are saying we want to invest in that too so it, ownership would be i don't know i don't know yet i, I i'm not sure what i'm trying to do is uh get the best possible opportunity for us and for whitewater gallery and for the gtg and to get it up and running because they don't uh gtg doesn't have a space to make work the can Afrique theater does not have a space to make work um all of us are are looking for performance spaces mm -hmm. and a kind of a home right yeah so uh yeah, I, I can't say to you there's some sort of big nest egg because you know there isn't. We don't really have any money, but a lot of stars are aligning. Like a lot of planets are aligning right now. Um, so I, I want to see what happens. And uh, the other thing that happened is Trillium just announced their mm -hmm. capital grant deadline, right? So that's a third funder, three funders to do this. I started looking at portable stages and this kind of plan, that's actually happening a lot in BC. My sister was in charge of, uh, she got a grant to build a floating stage for the um, the jazz festival in Caslo, BC. Mm -hmm. And they've been using that floating stage ever since. And it was a really big fun project. Mm. It was youth. It was uh, focused on the the youth in this in the town mm. uh, building it. So it was overall extremely successful. I know Caslo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, the one I've been Dermot, from. Uh, could I, hey Dermot, could yeah. could I just uh, ask a question? So, uh, of these buildings, of the spaces that you're looking at, what is the preferred space? The preferred space is um, small, first of all, like mm -hmm. not big, because we just can't sustain mm -hmm. a large facility. There's no okay. way. Um, right. It's a multi-use, multi-use, multi-use. So, so um, but you said like the H.E. Brown building and the Salvation Army building and then a church. Yeah, like which That's the first three. Uh, ben also suggested another one today. 
Um, so the search is on to find multiple good venues. The search is on to find budgets. How much is this going to cost to to take a building like H.E. Brown and completely gut it and put in gallery and theater? And which is the which is the H.E. Brown building? Is that the old Lafave's building? No, that, no, that burned. It's on McIntyre. It's on McIntyre, so it's across the street from the Capitol Center parking lot. Is that the H. E. Brown Auto Supply or the? That's yeah. yeah that's oh, right. yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. That's, right. that's where the I know Proscenium it. Club. The Proscenium oh, Club yeah. is part of this. Okay. Right? Part of the Lone Cap Center. Does that go mm -hmm. all the way to the back, like to the new Beach Studio? I think it does. Yeah. Okay. I think it's all of it's that. It's all area. connected. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an actual pretty good location because of the parking and, yeah. and, and the connection to everybody else that's in that area. Yeah. 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 I don't know about the Salvation Army. I'm trying to think. It's just down the street, right? It's right next door. It's yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sale, eh? yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's probably an easier building to renovate because it's all open. That's, I think, I'm not sure. I'm not, I haven't seen enough of yeah. them. A.T. Brown is a bit of a mess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's true, but I'm not the the one that's kind of going through all of the different buildings and looking at them. Um, that's Ben and a guy who was on our board. Um, oh, crikey. Guy who was on our board um, who bought the building on Main Street who... Um, the Culture Club. Uh, anyway, his name will come to me. Wilson, but, huh? Wilson Electric Guy. No, not not him. Although that's now back in play as well, and that is a good building. And it's like if we could get that, um, because Fusion Fest is. Fusion Fest was there, yeah, yeah at, at 151. It's a different building, guys, but it um, it uh, has a beautiful stage, a really great stage, and it has two entrances. It has the main, and it has oak. It goes all the way back. It's a nice building. It's been renovated slightly, mm -hmm. and the only thing that's preventing uh, us from being in there is that it's religious. They want to keep it being a religious center, you know? That sounds a bit dark. What, what denomination? It's kind of not a denomination. It's it's more like family. We just want to be able to provide our kids with a theater space. And I get it, but in this room, it's like, how is that helping anybody? It's I thought not, it was just like strictly Christian. It's kind of strictly Christian, yeah. I'll yeah, go there. and then like yeah, the family values, but like yeah, yeah, that's going to be I think very limiting once you get into what that really means. It's it, it's it's sustainable on one level, I think, Melanie. It's sustainable on the level that in North Bay, um, many many people support their sons and daughters doing amateur performance music yes. etc right so it it does that so dream coat dream coat's a theater company here that succeeds because they cater to that mm -hmm. so every year a new batch of kids comes in and learns how to act and, and did you ever do no i didn't <laughs> i'm just curious I about the family values like what that actually means and if that would ex yeah. exclude yeah. certain groups of children or anything like that like i just it, it i don't know i think i feel like it might yeah. too but i i can't i mean i really like bob the the owner i'm sure they're very nice yeah they're at least sort of of, uh, evangelical yeah they are yeah. they are and yeah and that's uh -oh. a bit of Tunnel vision, but oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 evangelical. That just red flags went up all over the place. 
Yeah. Oh, he's he's, he's yeah. a great. I just sure he's lovely. The the sad part is that he doesn't have any knowledge of how to administer a cultural facility. None. He's an electrician. And just today, Ben was like, he's getting to the end of his road. He can't find any money anymore mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they have been promising and promising and promising. And um, basically it's three years down the line and he's at the same place. And there's no organization of what's going in there. None. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. Anyway, anyway, so I, I don't know. I, um, well, in the Nugget yeah. Leagues, uh, the Nugget building that he rent, they rent right now, the press room off of that yeah. same guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll have the, the, the press room to rent out. <laughs> really? Yeah, they're renting it off of Bob Wilson? Yeah, they bought the they sold the building to Bob Wilson and, and then they leased that uh, printing press space off of Bob Wilson after they sold it. I don't know. Mm. But their lease is up in October next year. Eight thousand bucks a month. Eight thousand for the press space. And there's nothing in there? The press is removed? Not yet. Oh shit. It's coming next year, probably. Anyways, wow. it doesn't matter. Same evangelical uh, guy. Let's yeah, move, yeah. let's move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's enough. Uh, the websites, social okay. media, and promotions. Yeah, I, yeah. I had a coffee with uh, Tara, and uh, we're we set up uh, next Tuesday to go over the uh, Nova. Uh, how to switch it over to Nova on yeah, the computer yeah. and whatnot. And you're supposed to meet with her about the NRCC site. The uh, yeah, the yeah. NRCC and the Broken Forest. Right. So I think you, the three of us are meeting about the NRCC site. Oh. And the two of us are meeting about Broken Forest. He redid Broken Forest, but I can't, I, I don't want to fuck up what she did. I need information about how to update, right? Uh, because it, it absolutely crucially needs to be updated. <clears throat> Got grants out there, and when the when they look back and they go, oh, it hasn't been updated since we do. That's not good. No. Yeah. No. So it's got to it's got to be more of an emergency. It's got like it's so like I I texted Tear because I wanted to get in that minute. I wanted to get onto that site, not oh well. Let me talk to Dave and then. We'll set something up and, oh, we can't do it next week. Sorry. The week after, how's that? In website language, that's shit. You know, that's not good. Well, there's two different things going on from what I can gather. So yeah. she was. Yeah. There's very, two, two different, different things. Yeah. So you got to be specific about what you need and why. I try to be. Yeah. I try to be. I mean. We had that joint email. Yeah. Yeah. Which got confused right away. Not by me. I wasn't, I'm not as interested in the NRCC site. I, because I can control it. I can. Yeah, but I that's the one it. we're trying to uh, change the brand on, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's why I was involved. That's right. right. And and we do need to do that. Okay, so the Broken right. Forest one is a different story. It's a different story. It's, okay. It's one that needs to be. Good to know. Yeah. I need to, need to get at it right away, not in weeks. Um, so, but we do have a meeting set up next Tuesday at three fifteen. Mm -hmm. Can we do both things at, at that Tuesday, or do you need to? I'm. I don't know. Like maybe. I will try to push it more, uh, so that it has something done before that. Some way of getting in. Okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I. I think that we did that. She somehow deferred it over to, oh, this is something that you and me and Dave have to talk about, which is not the case. All I need is to be able to get into that site and open it. So I'll approach Tear tomorrow and I'll say, we need to do this right away before Tuesday. And okay. if she then defers it again to you. Well, I think she was, I don't know what's going on, but... Uh... 
Yeah. I was only talking to her about the, the rebranding part of the uh, NRCC. Yeah. I didn't even know about the growth report part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for, for her, I think she feels that she's pretty much done that site, but um, I can't get in an update. So that's my, my crucial news. I, I need to get in an update bit. But. Uh, just to interject quickly, uh, Jim, are you talking about the NRCC site that is on the website, on the Facebook site, on the, the Instagram site? Uh, it's it's called thenrcc.com, mm. and Ter wants to change a lot of it. So she wants to change the brand. Mm. She also wants to change the domain because she feels like the National Republican Convention Committee is too yeah. prep. Well, we agreed to do that last year. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, it's not just her, like. No, she made the suggestion, and we, we all agree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Nova, um, it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We're switching it to the Nova Gallery. Right. Okay. Um. But I. Yeah. So that's so it would, all of it would shift, Jer. Um. Just yeah. But I. Yeah. I know those acronyms are they're tough because I know like NAC is you know there's there's so many people didn't think about it but there's a lot of organizations that use those same things and the NRCC I can't even find it I'm looking on the internet and it just comes up with the uh, National Region Cement Company. Yeah, if you type in if you type in the NRCC you will find it. A, yeah, my. Uh, my search engine is, is kind of, but is not so smart. I I guess I'm I'm registering a little bit of frustration, but yeah, I've been it's okay. Yeah, you're all good. But, yeah, uh, I hear you, Dermot, and uh, <laughs> that, that stuff is like, that, that is pretty crucial. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so uh, so Terror, I, and Dermot are meeting next Tuesday at three fifteen to uh, finalize. I hope the idea about the gallery, the Nova Gallery rebranding, yeah, and RCC, and at the same time, if we still haven't figured out your broken floor shit, we will. I just want to put it on record, yeah, that I've already paid Terror. Mm -hmm. I've paid her uh, two thousand dollars for the Fusion Fest slash NRCC. And then I paid her another thousand dollars for the NRCC, with the proviso that she would get another thousand mm dollars -hmm. once the NRCC rebrand was done. Yeah, those are the finances. So, um, I'll put it on the record. You should have paid her a thousand for the fusion because <laughs> the MC only got seventy five. <laughs> And and uh, I never did see any posts. Yeah, welcome to the art world. And the next time you might want to have a contract, right? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next time, yeah, contracts. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Anyways, we'll, we'll clean up all this stuff. All right, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> you do know the art world. <laughs> I do so. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I gotta. I'm gonna have to scoodle in about two minutes. Okay, just can we just then switch to number nine um, yeah. and look at setting the, the date for the AGM? Yeah. I, I would rather it was on the, uh, I was thinking the 10th of December than the 15th. Um, I think I can make that in terms of the finances. I can get that together. Is there anybody who absolutely hates the 10th as a as a date i gotta determine i have to check something comes up in my background that says the 10th for something I, i'll sunday. just double i'll double check it tonight and i'll make sure that i get back to you tomorrow that's a sunday or we could do it the monday evening what what time on a sunday uh doesn't really matter jay um yeah, I always work Sunday afternoons and yeah. Yeah, I work uh, Sunday, but usually Sunday nights I'm available. Mondays I usually help run the meditations. And the but, yeah. yeah. But go do it. I could I guess I could do that if I had to. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, um, my preferences are, are usually mornings for any of these kinds of meetings. Right. Um, just because my day starts to flow. And then uh, I usually have a lot of family stuff in the evening. So that because my family is all over the country. Um, right. So so that's kind of where yeah. we flow. Uh, it doesn't matter what days for me. Uh, I'm, you know, I uh, like I can do it any time of the day. But evenings become a little like like it's a, it's a thing today that uh, I'm gonna have to you know take take part in. So yeah, um, that's my, my um, well, uh, that's weird to have it on Sunday morning. That's really weird. I need you on on Sunday morning, but it's possible. Yeah. Uh, in morning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, it's it's just. Uh, when my day starts to go, I, I'm outside and I'm gone and I like, you know, I'll be like, I don't even, I can, oh, I got to look at my watch. What time is it? Oh, shit. Yeah. It's, yeah. Getting, it's getting dark. It must be time to go home. What are you doing out there? I do lots of things. Uh, I'm a, an outdoors man. Uh, I'm a photographer. Uh, I just I have two properties I have to maintain. It's like, if I could be bored, I would really be happy. <laughs> if for once there could be nothing going on on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I can wake up in the morning going, what am I going to do? <laughs> well, we, we have time to, maybe, should we do one of those? Yeah, okay. Let's just do a doodle ball for the Sunday Monday. Oh, you're breaking up. I guess going to do a doodle poll for the Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Sorry, do it and say again. I don't actually know how to do those, but. Oh, it's maybe, super easy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you just, yeah, give me a hand and I'll. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Um, so send out a doodle poll and give us your best time on the 10th, the 11th, the 12th. Okay. And we'll, we're, we're certain to find some sort of. And it would be probably no more than a couple of hours. Okay. So the 10th, the 11th, and what did you say? 12th. 12th. Okay. December. Yeah. Okay. I will search my schedule and see. I'm just going to make sure what the heck the 10th was. It keeps that sort of coming in the back of my mind here. I can do it. And then, and, then uh, and we'll go from there. I got to run. Um, I got I got a phone call coming in already. So sorry, Jerry. Sorry. I'm gonna have to run, Dermot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I have to nice cut that short. Okay. Nice to meet you, Mel. Take care, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Jerry. Okay. Hey, Jerry, take a sunset photo. <laughs> sorry. Pick a sunset photo. I know you haven't done any. Maybe a sunrise. I, oh, a sunset photo. I haven't done any of those for a while. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Oh, okay. That's it. I mean, unless we want to... Is there any... I haven't seen that for a long time. I, I don't know. I guess I can get it out. Um... So I'll probably be lost as chain. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. She's at the oh. Ah. Yeah. She's great. She uh, Jaina's a nutritionist or a herbalist. Something's something's going on with the audio. What's that? Something's going oh, on with we're mumbling. We're really mumbling right now. Today. <laughs> um, unless there's something else. Um, I I'm, think that's it. Then. Yes, we're all yeah. good. I'm good. Are, are, are you okay, Justin? Oh. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Before you go, just in, um, 
Zuzu, can you talk about that a little, just a tiny bit, because Melanie's here. And, uh, Hi, Melanie. Hi. Oh, I can't, I can't wait. I'm sorry when I'm missing you and missing the opportunity to see you, but uh, it's for good reason. The best is to come. So the Renaissance of Zuzu as a piece of uh, art that I'm pretty sure you will love. I don't know if uh, uh, Mr. Wilson, uh, if you had a chance or you have a chance to show to Melanie uh, the video of the- Yes. Yes. I've been performing already and I'm very excited about what you're doing. Oh, yes. So that's, uh, I'm sitting there in front of my computer while you are talking and then we're multitasking cooking and writing. Uh, the Renaissance of Zuzu is a multi um, multi art uh, performance uh, based on uh, on the depression, or I should say, the resilience from the depression that we had as a humanity uh, during those uh, two and a half year COVID time. Yeah. Okay. So even though the time were tough, uh, the show is about keep. Keep on believing in uh, a humanity that no matter what will happen, even if we think we're weak, our souls are still doing what they're supposed to do. So there is always a hope. So it's a, it's a call uh, for hope. It's a, it's a crying to what our planet and everything else is going upside down. But uh, as um, there is a sunshine. So La Renaissance de Zuzu is the rebirth of our soul through singing, through acting, through drumming, music, multimedia, costumes. Mm. In my mind, and then share with Dermot for almost uh, two years now, mm. is a good one hour and 30 minute show with costumes and everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need to we need to get a hold of Sid. That's the only thing, but yeah, because Sid Bob is involved, but we haven't quite confirmed him yet. So it looks like she has a visitor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll talk again. <laughs> no. I'm gonna have to leave soon because I have a five pound dog on very heavy drugs. Ooh. wearing a cone around his neck oh, and no. he's running loose in my apartment which he never does oh, but I couldn't put him in his crate there's going to be because things of the cone. Yeah. Oh. and I don't know what he's doing <laughs> I don't we we don't know what he's capable of okay, so yes. I'm going to have yeah, to run time to, go check. time to run time to run, time to run. <laughs> it was really I'm, I'm going to have to go uh, yeah. but uh, it was really nice meeting everyone and I hope to see you in person as well and and uh justine i can't wait to um to talk to you and then you just let me know what your your thoughts and feelings are and we can interpret that and we do something together i i would just love to support your project okay yeah yep let's say good night everybody and uh thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you good night Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Shut this. That's for me, then. <laughs> See you later, Justine. Bye-bye.